Well, I spent six days in the hospital again. Just I'm back to normal now. Yeah, Mark called the EMS. They came. I signed the paper because I didn't want to go because it was only the second day of those pills. I was going to wait until the next day to see what was going to happen. Next day, I felt just as bad. So they came and got me, and I went to Corning. You know, I didn't want to go to the VA. I wanted a second opinion. So I ended up on a Corning Hospital. Spent six days there. And they took x-rays, took an MRI, gave me all kinds of shots, explained stuff to me. And now tomorrow morning, well, before I left the hospital, I had to wait until I put this brawl on. <coughs> it gives out some electrical stuff. It's supposed to be hooked up to a telephone and directed so people can take a watch as to what my heart's doing. Well, last night it acted up. Well, the night of the hospital, two days ago, it started acting up and I kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And finally, I just unplugged the battery because it woke Mark up with all the noise it was making. So I took it off, unplugged the battery, and sealed it up and called him up and told him I was going to send it back. Well, they got a hold of Mark. And Mark and Lil talked to him and they're going to come tomorrow morning and reinvent the wheel, show Mark and Lil what's going to how this thing operates and what's supposed to happen and all this other good garbage that goes on with it. So I'm going to be back in a brawl tomorrow morning about 11 after they show Mark and Lil what's, how it works and what it's supposed to do and all this other crap. So anyways, uh, not much is going on really. I'm uh, still existing. You know, I'm still happy. Still here with the work and mill. But I feel a whole lot better. All the swelling is gone. I took a shower yesterday. I'm going to take one tomorrow morning. When I go to bed, I'm going to get my clothes ready for tomorrow. You know, new, new blue jeans on. These are going to laundry. But, uh, now yeah, things are, I guess you might say, back to normal. Or semi-normal, if you want to call it uh, semi-normal. So, anyways, uh, that's about it. Uh, Corning Hospital was real nice. I mean, you know, they treated me real nice. This uh, one girl came in and asked me my name, and I told her. And uh, she asked me if I knew Rudolph. And I went, eh, I got a relative named Rudolph. Well, he's my father. He's, I got a cousin who's a nurse taking care of me. <laughs> and uh, she's a big woman. Anyhow, as we were leaving, Mark told me to go over and Say hi to Uncle Bill. Well, there's my uncle sitting over there. <laughs> I can't even recognize him. <laughs> and well, it's been since mom passed since I've seen him last. And he's changed. Yeah, he's gotten older. <laughs> Just in those six years. But anyways, uh, I went over and he doesn't like my beard either. He asked me what this crap was. And I told him. He just looked at me. And anyways, we gave each other a hug. And, you know, he's, he's doing okay. He ended up bringing some woman over to the hospital and he was just waiting for her. Anyways, uh, like I said, the visit was fantastic. We had a good doctor. I had to make a cardiology appointment. So I called and got one scheduled for the 10th of next month. And uh, I got one scheduled for the day. Well, lo and behold, yesterday, I get this phone call. Can you come in at 2 o'clock? 
Yeah. I went in the cardiology at two o'clock. And they gave me a set of scales. She was real concerned about me weighing myself every morning. Well, I got the scales home, got them opened up, stood on them. They didn't work. I told Lil I had to go to Walmart and get some AAA batteries and some of my fix to them. And then Mark came home and talked about the uh, weight thing. Well, he took it, looked at it, went downstairs, got four new batteries. Put it in, stood on it, and he just started laughing. He got him weighing 110 pounds. And then Lil got on it. Lil weighed, I think it was like 74 pounds. I get on it. I weighed 60.2 pounds. So uh, apparently that thing is Bluetooth and it's supposed to be connected to the telephone or something. Uh, that's going to be another thing for this guy to do because Mark received a phone call today dealing with the guy with the bra that they're going to be here at 9 o'clock in the morning. So hopefully he'll have the answers for the scales too as to why I only weigh 60.2 pounds. So anyway, uh, like I said, not much is going on. Yeah. I still got the VA appointment to have that uh, colonoscopy uh, camera shoved up my butt. That's like the only polite way to say it. I still got that scheduled for the 5th. Anyway, uh, they had me in ICU for the first four days. And, uh, they're really concerned about my heart. Apparently I got a main artery that's collapsed. But they've given me medicine that's supposed to repair it. Or at least get it going again. Which I have no idea if it's going or not. Uh, according to that bra thing, the way it was going off last night, I was supposed to call 911 the fourth time it went off. Well, it went off about 12 times. And then it spilled this blue crap all over my back, all over my chest. And uh, according to the cardiologist today, she told me that uh, that blue gel was just before I got shocked. Well, <laughs> I wasn't about to get shocked. Uh -uh. I'm glad I pulled that battery out. Anyway, both batteries are charged up. Phone's plugged in. Well, I'm just going to wait till 9 o'clock. So, anyways, I'll do another one of these tomorrow and show you what the bra looks like. So, anyway. Uh, Halloween's going pretty good. This lady showed up. Apparently, Lou and her went to bath to learn how to fly a broom because they're going to be witches at Halloween. So they had to take broom flying lessons. So, and that's what they did tonight. Mark took the scale paperwork read up on it, find out why he weighs just over 100 and I weigh 60. He didn't say nothing when he got back here, so I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, uh, I guess that's about it for now. I don't have anything else. So. Anyway, let me get this going. See you in the morning. Okay. Bye.